Welcome to ARO Kentucky. This year, Venture Senior High went to Inez, Kentucky from July 24th to the 30th. During that time, we took 43 students between our group and another group that we went with, Caledonia CRC. The work that we did this week was split up in seven different work projects. We were able to impact seven different families and community centers. Our theme for the week was that Jesus meets urgent physical need and urgent spiritual need. We saw this as we studied Luke 4 through 9, which is Jesus' time, his, his ministry here on earth. And we saw that in the work projects and in, in the people that we met. Um, many different experiences reinforced that idea that Jesus is here both to, to come to save us, but he's also here to, to free us, to, um, to take care of us in our, our needs that we have, uh, our, our temporal needs that we have here on earth. It was truly amazing to see the growth in both our students and leaders. One um, way that I've seen God move in this trip is on church on Wednesday morning. And we just kind of got there, we were singing, it was great. And we all went to the front to kneel to pray. It was just a really powerful moment. And I looked back behind me at all the people who had their hands over everyone who was praying. And it was just like, we were all united and all just comfortable with each other. And it was just such a amazing thing to witness and to experience. Uh, one thing that God showed me this week is that it doesn't matter what your background is. Uh, at the church service on Sunday, there were people from different denominations and different places across the country coming together and just praying for one another and worshiping Jesus. So something I um, saw this week at ARO was when we went to um, this lady named Greta's house and um, she had uh, this spring of flood come and destroy um, all of her floors and so we we put new floors down for her in um, her living room and um, at first I was just working on the floors and just trying to get it done and um, another leader Katie from Caledonia came and told me to um, go talk like she's like go talk to Greta and I was like ah like kind of worried so I went over and talked to her for a little bit and I got to meet like the most amazing lady and um, she was so sweet she has had so much happened to her that you would think like how how does someone still find joy in all of this difficult um all of these difficult times but Greta was one of the most joyful per people that I've ever met and um I just can't even imagine what she's gone through and what she has to deal with but I just want to be like her I just want to be full of joy and um continued to be the light and something that was really cool is she quoted so many different verses throughout the Bible too just like talking about different things like it none of it was planned she just has read her Bible so much that she just knows it back and forth and inside and out and it's something that I thought was really cool and that I hope to be like someday. Hi I'm Kaylee Dykema and my God sighting this week um, was at a program called Celebrate Recovery, which uh, Mitch and I had the opportunity to lead worship at. It's a program for individuals who want to start uh, recovering from their addictions, whether it be to drugs or whatever. Um, and we were able to, there was an altar call and uh, we were, there were several people that were saved that evening. And I'm so happy that God was able to use me and Mitch to uh, glorify him through that way. Just really saw how the team came together and worked hard, but 
um, something that was so little for us and then to be able to see how gratifying it was when it was such a big deal to them the people that we serve we put in a wood floor um, for two different houses and then to be able to just stop and sit and listen to their stories and the neat part was is that these stories would be tragic for us but they just love to share them and they were so full of God's um, joy even in their trials um, and then like our last one that we went to they just didn't want to go they didn't want us to go they just kept following after us and uh, wanting hugs and um, it's really powerful that way I learned on this mission trip that often people with less stuff have more joy. Um, he taught me how to be more myself. Just to put myself out there more and not care what others think. One thing I enjoyed this week was um, getting along with the other group really well. Um, it just felt like we were just one big youth group um, and everybody just bonded really well together. Nobody was like left out or like alone. Everybody was just very nice to each other and bonded really well. I saw God move this past week by his constant presence and how many people's lives were changed by this trip. Um, God taught me also that no matter what situation you're in, you will bring joy and you can find joy too.